Right, uh, hope everyone's well and uh, didn't get too cold last week. Uh, that, was, that was a bit nippy at times. Right, obviously we've got a conifer hedge here and uh, basically it's coming out, stumps and all. The first part of the hedge I actually cut out by hand as as some of you know, sort of the camera can be a bit deceiving and uh, sometimes things look bigger or smaller but um, where I am at the moment it's, it's a bit snugger than it looks I've got a garage right behind me and the camera's actually sitting on top of his uh, pond filter tank thingamajiggy so uh, it was a little bit awkward just to get the pruner in for this first couple so uh, like I say I cut them out by hand and it don't take too long and uh, basically I, I just tried to cut and take everything out as big a pieces as I could Because the whole garden is uh, pea gravel and the pond and all ornaments, everything had to come back down the hedge line and then drag through here and then through there. So it was a case of uh, cutting some, clearing some, cutting some and then, then clearing some more. This job I actually did Friday and yesterday Saturday morning and in total it came in 11 hours for this hedge from start to finish which, uh, which I didn't think was too bad on my own and uh, I, I would have to admit it was a bit chilly doing this job and I did get wet once. I would have liked to have kept them the stumps just a little bit higher but because I was taking everything back down the hedge line I, was just, I just kept hitting them so I had to take them down that little bit lower than I would have liked otherwise um, they would have given me a bit more purchase when I was taking the stumps out but uh, there's no such thing as an easy job is there it's actually sometimes surprising when you cut these biggest chunks out however they are um, even these they, I sort of you know um, I wouldn't say stroll to drag them but they weren't as light as you thought they were going to be obviously by this point all the tops are off and m most of the rubbish is cleared up uh, I try to 
to cut the roots not too close to the stump otherwise you're sort of going through the thickest and worst bit but obviously you don't want to be digging half the garden up as well um, conifers usually I want to say easy but they ain't too bad to get out but because it's such sandy soil which is easy to dig the roots had obviously gone down a, sort of on a 45 degree angle uh, searching for moisture and uh, they, they were a bit more awkward than I was expecting them to be um, so there was nine of these stumps that had to come out I think seven I had to do on a Saturday morning and uh, they did keep me warm even though it was bitterly cold As you can see, I had uh, my mate Jack with me, helping. Uh, two of the stumps I actually got out with just the axe and uh, the matlock and a bit of uh, sweat and sort of swearing under your breath. But the uh, the other seven had the jack and mole. They all had them roots right underneath that you just you can never get to, and you have to hope they pop and get to them sort of thing. And there's one of the nine. Uh, as you can see, they had some good roots on. And uh, that's where I'd been basically, and cleared them all out. I was uh, I was quite glad when when I got that last stump out. It was uh, it seemed hard work this this morning. And uh, there's my mate Jack having a rest, leaning against the wall. And basically this is where I had to drag everything through here which it weren't so bad it could sweep up and if you're wondering where all the waste went I had a bit of a luxury on this job we'll skip <laughs> thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed thank you